In this video, I'll be providing a project update on this 1988 Porsche 944 and a breakdown of the maintenance and repair items completed during my second year of ownership, along with their associated costs. After completing some initial restoration and a number of maintenance items in year one, which included the addition of $2,300 in new parts, I was in a pretty good position to continue driving the car a bit while slowly working on the backlog of repairs. With all the oil seals that had failed and were subsequently replaced during the first year, I was a little concerned about the oil cooler seals failing as well, creating the dreaded oil coolant milkshake mix in the engine. So I replaced the oil cooler seals early on in year two. The positioning of the oil cooler is in pretty tight quarters, but disconnecting the sway bar bracket and lowering the power steering pump allows for easier access. Even with those components out of the way, every bolt on the oil cooler housing required a different combination of sockets, extensions, and universal joints to find the right angle to remove the hardware. Parts for this repair came in at $51. Around this same time, I noticed a slow oil leak at the rear of the oil pan, so I decided to replace the oil pan gasket. This isn't a terribly expensive job, as I picked up a new gasket for just $43, but accessing the oil pan requires removal of the aluminum cross member, as well as the front lower control arms, and in doing so, the engine needs to be supported from above. Since I was going to have the oil pan off, I figured it would be a good idea to go ahead and replace the connecting rod bearings and nuts while I was in there. I picked up a set of new rod bearings for $63, and the nuts came in at $22. Also picked up some new bolts for the oil pan at a cost of $20. With the oil pan removed, it's a good time to inspect the pickup tube for cracks, which are known to cause oil pressure issues. While the aluminum suspension parts were off the car, I had them glass bead blasted for $120 and then coated in satin clear coat to clean them up. I also purchased a Renbe ball joint boot kit for $27 to replace the aging rubber boots, and after cleaning and replacing the joints with fresh grease, they came out pretty good. As I was reassembling everything below the car and reconnecting the power steering rack supply line to the pump, the aging banjo bolt snapped in half even though I was using all new crush washers. So I picked up a new banjo bolt for $14 and added in some new engine oil and coolant for $75 to complete the job. Not long after, I decided to replace the front shocks with some Kony Sport adjustable units to match the ones in the rear that I'd replaced the year before. The front end was a little springy so it was clear that the old shocks were starting to fail there as well. This car came with sealed struts up front that require the entire assembly to be replaced, but since the Kony sealed struts are no longer in production, a front strut conversion was the way to go. This allows replacement strut cartridges or inserts to be used with the existing strut housing and involves drilling some holes to drain the old shock oil and then cutting off the top of the strut housing. I elected to use a metal cutting wheel on a miter saw for a nice clean cut across the top, and it's a good excuse to throw some sparks. I soon found out, however, that I hadn't fully drained all the shock oil from the struts and the sparks and oil combined into a small fire in my driveway. Thanks to some quick action on my part, the miter saw came out unscathed and the fire ended up killing some weeds in the front yard, so that was useful. With the suspension parts successfully modified, I had them cleaned and powder coated in Kony Yellow to match the new inserts, and they turned out great. For this repair, I spent about $400 on the new shock inserts and $191 on the powder coating. About a month later, the car began to exhibit a low idle at cold start, and the DME temperature sensor ended up testing bad, so I replaced it for $22. I also added an only 944 throttle response cam for $30 to make the gas pedal more linear and eliminate the initial slow turning of the throttle. To improve the overall ignition response, I replaced the spark plugs for $15, along with the distributor cap and ignition rotor for $73. At this point, it was well into spring, and I had put around 400 miles on the car so far that year, and was looking forward to driving it a bit more. To get it ready for the summer, I replaced the fuel tank level sending unit that had failed for $200 and its sealing ring for $15. I also installed a new vacuum line kit from Lindsay Racing, along with the line from the J-Boot to the air idle control valve that had a split in it. The vacuum system parts totaled around $97, and it really helped clean up the engine bay while eliminating the old brittle vacuum line connectors. While I was in there, I replaced the air oil separator seals for $10, the high pressure fuel line from the rail to the damper for $88, and I ended up cleaning and testing the air idle control valve, the throttle body, and the throttle position switch. Moving into the summer months, I noticed that the cooling fans were only running at a high speed even when the engine temperature wasn't very high. There are two low speed cooling fan resistors mounted to the firewall just below the windshield on the passenger side that control the fan speed, and here you can see the wiring was shredded and heavily corroded, so I spliced in some new 12 gauge wire and connectors for a total of $10 in parts. 
Around the same time, the car developed a hard start condition, and after the fuel pressure damper checked out okay, I resolved the issue by replacing the check valve at the fuel pump for $20. By the time fall had arrived, I noticed some residue collecting on the rear axles, which is an indication that the axle grease is breaking down. So I removed the axles from the car and then cleaned and rebuilt all four CV axle joints with new grease for a total of $10. I closed out the second year by performing some much needed brake work on the car. Most of the brake system components were heavily oxidized and the calipers were a little bit locked up. The soft lines were also showing age along with the fading brake booster and the yellowing fluid reservoir. Given the overall rough condition of the system, I ended up rebuilding the brake calipers and replacing the rest of the system with all new parts. The brake booster cost $214, the master cylinder was $132, and the reservoir was $123. The stainless steel braided brake lines came to $90, the rotors were about $40 a piece, and I spent just over $400 having the calipers stripped and powder coated in satin silver. The brake system refresh was the largest single expense for the year, coming in at $1,612. While I had the brake booster off, I also replaced the clutch master and slave cylinders, the hydraulic hose, and some hardware for a total of $208. Mechanical repair and maintenance costs for year two came to a total of $3,903.56. In addition to these mechanical items, I completed some work on the interior and exterior of the car as well. As for the exterior, the first thing I did was repair the right rear bumper pad that was separating on the outer edge. After removing the impact strip, I discovered that one of the mounting studs had rusted and broken in half. I was able to replace the stud using an M6 bolt and some JB Weld steel epoxy. Another expense involved repairing the rusted battery tray in the engine compartment. This car came to me with a fiberglass patch over the battery tray, under which was a few holes passing through into the passenger side footwell and some corrosion around the edges of the tray. To repair it, I mechanically removed some of the more damaged material, Marine cleaned and metal etched the surface with zinc coating, applied a POR15 patch with some aluminum mesh support, and top coated the tray with black textured bed liner for a total cost of $50. Next, I continued some work on the exterior rubber seals, replacing the rear quarter glass window seals for $55 and the outer sunroof seal for $63. I also replaced the Porsche Crest with an excellent condition one I found on eBay for $25, that was pulled from a donor 1995 Porsche 968. I replaced the cracked sunroof wind deflector hinges for $52 and reconditioned the wheel center caps with silver wheel coating and acrylic lacquer clear coat for $7. The exterior costs for year two totaled $333.92. For the interior of the car, I continued replacing missing screws as they were discovered and I re-glued a section of the sagging vinyl headliner strip by the third brake light in the cargo area along with some carpet separation by the passenger door for a total of $6. Larger expenses for the year included replacing the front and rear floor mats with the Porsche 944 Ultimate Black Series by Lloyd Mats for $153, and the rear cargo deck mat with Porsche Script for $170, both of which dramatically improved the interior appearance. Finally, the foam surrounds on the factory stereo speakers had completely deteriorated, so I replaced the front and rear speakers with some Kicker DSC46 4-inch by 6-inch two-way car speakers for $90. I timed this repair with the quarter window seal replacements because the rear windows need to be out in order to safely remove the interior trim panels that cover the rear speakers in the car. Interior repair costs for year two came to a total of $418.97. All in, year two was another productive year. Additional progress was made in cleaning up the car, completing a variety of critical maintenance repairs, and I ended up driving the car a distance of 946 miles during that time. Here's a breakdown of costs for the year. The initial vehicle cost and year one expenses had come to $7,800.40. Mechanical repairs for year two came to $3,904. And the exterior and interior expenses were $334 and $419 respectively, for a total parts cost of just over $4,656, making the grand project total $12,456.85. And that concludes the review of the project log for year two on this 1988 Porsche 944.